What's up, Virgos? What's good? What's good? What's good with y'all? Happy to be back with y'all. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. So, I need to pull an energy card for y'all because I didn't see what you guys' energy looked like before I even started this video. So, what we're going to do is, let me sage y'all. Let me sage, sage, get the clear energy from the last reading. Okay, and we're going to jump into it. I want to, I just, I don't know. Today is just a day of, like, I just feel like I don't want to sugarcoat or be nice about anything um, when it comes to experience expressing the truth or expressing or just dealing with these readings like i don't know that's just my energy today like i hope y'all are ready because whatever comes out that's what i'm gonna speak okay i don't care who like who likes it who don't like it i never really cared about who didn't like it because at the at the beginning of this before you even click on the video it distinctly tells you what the basis of the reading is pertaining to if that has absolutely nothing to do with your energy, don't click on the damn video. I mean, I thank you for the view, but at the end of the day, it's multiple people who are liking the video and multiple people who are commenting. So that is who the reading is for. If you want to something that is pertaining specifically to you, then you need to book a personal. Stop being cheap and book you a personal, okay? Speaking of personals, if you want to book a personal with the Empress, slots are limited, okay? Currently, I am doing a special for $44.44, okay? And it also comes with a free bonus question that you will get. It has to be a yes or no question for your bonus question. The bonus question is going to be free. Um, and this is to get a free yes or no question answered, okay? Using the pendulum, all right? So... If you want to book me for um, for a reading, which my turnaround times are normally pretty fast because I only do a certain amount of readings um, per day. And I do let people know um, you can book today, but, you know, this is when I'll be, have availability open. And it is normally either the next day or the day after. But I do, um, you know, do only do a certain amount of readings per day. Okay, so if you want to book your personal reading with the Empress, reach out to me via via um, email. I'll put it in the description box below and I can get you set up for your very own personal reading. Okay, if this reading does happen to resonate with you, good. It was for you. Okay, it was specifically for you. And don't forget to comment. Let me know what's going on in the comment section. But don't come on. Don't come on any of my videos and just like be with all the crazy mess because i don't know i'm just not feeling extremely friendly today i don't know why i'm really not like i'm not really feeling it <laughs> i'm really not like I'm, I'm just really in my queen of swords energy all right so let's get a uh, overall energy for my virgos all right virgos 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 this is going to be for uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus, okay? So, if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, um, in those placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, then you can apply this reading to you, okay? So, I need to get overall energy first, and then we'll do, um, we'll jump into the read. Okay, so what message do you have? Give me an overall message for Virgos, please. Give me an overall message for Virgos. Thank you. All right, we have the High Priestess. Okay. We have the High Priestess. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so some of you guys are most definitely using your intuition, okay? You're feeling very intuitive. Um, There may be something that is hidden or kept in the dark, okay? You may be keeping something a secret, okay? 
Or you may just be being very kind of like, you know, quiet, okay? Um, some of you may be dealing with the Pisces. We got the Queen of Cups here. Paired up with the High Priestess, that is most definitely Pisces' energy. But it's like, I, with the Four of Cups here, this is saying that, you know, you don't really, I feel like you don't care who feelings you hurt. Y'all might be feeling like how I feel. No cap. Because I got the Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Swords in the reverse. So I'm just getting like, you don't care about something, how, how something or someone feels um, in a situation. I feel like you are very, you're using your intuition right now. Or there's like you're keeping your feelings hidden about how you feel about someone or something. And really what the truth of the matter is, I feel like you just don't like this individual or this individual just does not like you. Okay. And with the three of swords here in the reverse, there could be three people involved. Okay. Or there is just like you're over it. You're, you're, you don't, you're not. Um, it's not affecting you as much, okay? And I'm getting, like, a I don't care attitude, okay? I really want to see why the Three of Swords is here. Why is the Three of Swords here for Virgos? Yeah, uh, the Six of Swords, Okay. This is moving over, getting over a situation. So you're over something, okay? Or you're trying to get over something or your intuition is telling you to get over it. You might feel like, you know, maybe I need to move on from this situation. But I'm just getting like someone here is a little pissed with this Ace of Cups in the reverse, okay? Um, someone is like lacking emotion is what I'm getting. Why is the Ace of Cups in the reverse? King of Cups, excuse me, King of Cups and the Four of Wands, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this could be someone in your family, um, but I'm getting um, that there is just like a lack of emotions, okay? Someone is afraid to comment or say something to someone, Um why is the Four of Cups here? I, I, like, some of you guys may be in a disagreement with someone. Why is the Four of Cups here? Maybe you're trying to figure out. Yeah, like, things didn't go in someone's favor. I see that someone here is not happy, okay? That something did not go in their favor. Um... I'm getting, like, tried everything to make someone happy. And it's like, you just can't make this person happy as well. Uh, why is the high priestess here? Okay, so you don't know. Okay, two of swords. It's like, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with them. Someone's trying to get, someone's gotten over it or trying to get over a situation. Um, but someone is just, like, disappointed that something didn't go in their favor. Someone's pissed, and I feel like you don't know why they you don't know why they pissed. That's what I'm getting. That is what I'm getting for Virgos. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Empress. Okay. Y'all always get the King of Pentacles. Y'all always get y'all energy in the reading. Okay, I feel like. For some of you, somebody made plans here. Maybe you made plans with someone in the past. 
I feel like there were some plans that was supposed to be made, but somebody's like feeling stuck. Okay. Um, I feel like you don't want to go back and forth here with the past energy being the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands. It's like constant back and forth, but you're saying like you're putting a stop to someone coming back and forth. Okay. Um, this person is always in and out, like on and off. This, this is like an on, a, a on again, off again thing. And presently, we got the Seven of Swords in the reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. You can be feeling like this person is being tricky. You feel like this person is being tricky, okay? It's being tricky. Why is the Ten of Swords in the reverse here? Temperance in the reverse. Some of you dealing with the Sagittarius. I feel like there is just no balance here. This thing is kind of like all over the place in the past, okay? This is past energy. I feel like something has kind of been all over the place. There's no balance in the situation um, or there has been there hasn't been any type of um, there hasn't been any type of resolution okay things have been you know kind of all over the place um, type of energy here maybe you're trying to find a balance and I feel like you don't want any surprises neither you ain't looking for no, no type of surprises. I feel like you want a balance. But there's just this Knight of Wands energy here that is kind of like all over the place. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? Judgment. Thing. It could be dealing with the Taurus. Someone is afraid of a commitment, okay? Someone does not want a commitment here. Someone is, someone does not want to have regrets. Um, and they don't want to be tied down or committed to something, okay? With the Seven of Swords, this is present energy. Someone is definitely being, you know, like sneaky, Maybe um, deceptive. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah. With justice in reverse. I'm getting big karmic energy. Okay. Someone's um, out for revenge. Yeah. Someone's out for revenge and seeking attention. Somebody is a attention whore. We got this, <laughs> the Six of Wands and the Devil. Someone is obsessed with um, winning. Um, someone is obsessed with attention. Someone is craving attention that they'll go to drastic measures to get it. Um, with the King of Pentacles here in the reverse, there may be a little bit of instability here. Why is the King of Pentacles in the reverse here? Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles upright and the Knight of Swords Okay, in the reverse. We got the Emperor, the Father card, and this is also controlling energy, kind of stubborn energy. There's a conversation that you may be planning on having. Okay, but there's something here about the pentacle. Okay, something about the pentacle that needs to be Someone may be overspending or spending, um, being irrational with their money. Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles, okay? Someone may be being very irrational with spending. Now, with future energy, we got the Empress. This is the mother card of the of the tarot, okay? 
So I've seen the mother and the father card. For some of you, this could be like home related or dealing with the mother or a father. This could be in regards to a, a baby mother, baby father situation. The Empress could also be an abundance, okay? This is the abundance card. This is also giving birth or pregnancy, okay? Why is the Empress here? Hangman, okay? So some of you guys are deciding to put something on hold. Queen of Cups. You may feel like someone is spying on you, okay? We got the Page of Swords and the Five of Wands. Some, there may be some type of conflict or some type of battle um, with someone here. Maybe you're waiting to see what this person is going to say, but I'm feeling like there's some battle or competitiveness energy, okay? Something collaborating together is not working. We got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You coming together with this other individual is just not, someone is not being cooperative. They rather fight um, than come together, okay? Someone here is trying to start a business as well. We got the Three of Pentacles and the Fool. Um, someone is trying to start a job, start working or start a business, okay? Why is the Four of Swords in the reverse here? Why is the Four of Swords in the reverse? Some of you aren't getting that much sleep, okay? You may feel um, like you need time to think. Why is the Four of Swords in the reverse? The Emperor, again, okay? Some of you are trying to get the courage to do something here. Someone's afraid to ask something. Maybe someone's afraid to ask someone older. I got an older person here. Okay. Somebody in authority, in a position of authority. Okay. Someone is afraid to ask. Someone does not have the confidence to ask for something. Okay. Someone, yeah, someone needs something here with this five of pentacles in the reverse. Someone's afraid to ask for something. Okay. Why is the emperor here? The three of pentacles and the reverse again. Okay. You're preparing for something. You're working towards something. I'm getting like uh, someone is trying to start a business. With this emperor and the three of pentacles, this could be like a boss. Some of you guys are you know, needing to face your boss. Maybe ask for some time off or ask... For something in that nature, you're you kind of like are afraid to ask them because they may be a, you know really you know like a asshole. But I mean, you are making some plans. You're trying to plan ahead. Why is the three pentacles here in the reverse? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm picking up on Gemini's energy here with the um, Lovers card here. Three of Cups, High Priestess, Hermit, Three of Swords. Lots of threes here. There could be three people involved here. We got the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords. I see Libra's energy here. I see Taurus's energy and um, Sagittarius's energy here as well, too. But I'm picking up on there could be three people here involved in the situation. I feel like your intuition, um, I feel like you're, there may be some type of secret here that you're searching for some type of clarity on. But there could be like three people here involved in this situation. Yeah, and here we go again with the high priestess and the hermit. And that's how we're going to roll out of here. I feel like you're, you, you are definitely are going on some type of spiritual I feel like <laughs> this is definitely a, a spiritual meditative state that you may be going in you may be um, going to your hermit mode okay until you get the answers that you seek I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of backing off or backing away and trying to be more discerning when you approach situations or when you're dealing with people. 
the high priestess and the hermit, okay? Pisces and Virgo. I feel like you, you may feel like you need to make some changes. We got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Six of Cups. I feel like you don't want to repeat a cycle, okay? So you may feel like you need to make some changes. I feel like you're letting your intuition guide you on this one, okay? You're letting your intuition guide you. All right, let's get some let's get some messages from the angels. All right. Well, before we do that, I want to do a quick pull, okay? Um, I feel like for some reason I'm getting like Virgos are going into hermit mode and need to do some meditative, um, maybe like go on a hiatus, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm feeling that energy. Like some of y'all just need to kind of like distance yourself um, and make some changes here. Does Virgos need to um, take a step back for a moment? Does Virgos need to take a step back? Do they need to take a step back? Okay. I'm getting a yes. Okay, I'm getting a yes. I feel like a lot of you guys are doing some soul searching. Going through some type of transformation is what I'm feeling as well. What message do we have for my Virgos? Okay, what message is there for Virgos? Please? All right, so we got it's up to you. There's something better. There's something better for you, but it's up to you, okay? The situation will improve, okay? Don't stop. I feel like a lot of you guys um, have a new direction that is coming towards you, okay? So it's up to you. I feel like the ball is more so in your court. It's about where you, where you want to go and what you want to do because I feel like you guys may be holding on to something that isn't getting anywhere or helping you get anywhere. Um, so there's something better for you. The situation will improve. You just have to stay consistent, okay, and choose a new direction. But most definitely, you got to listen to your intuition, Okay, and you have to go on. You may have to take this break and go within to meditate to get your answers that you see. Okay, but the this, the the um, decision is definitely up to you. You hold the ball in this court. Okay, you have the ball. Give me another message for Virgos, please. Meditation brings answers again. Okay, so I'm getting within the next few months, there is going to be some type of opportunity here for you. Okay, some type of opportunity is going to be presenting itself. Yep, it's coming. It's coming. It's in the near future. Okay, make sure you're looking for your signs. Look for a sign and guess what? Big happy changes are coming for you. Okay, and don't forget to ask for support from others. If you need that support, that helping hand, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. All right, make sure you're using your resources and you're not abusing your resources, okay? Give me one more card for Virgos. Okay, peaceful resolution. All right, so you guys are going to get some type of resolution, okay? Make sure that you are using your intuition. Let your intuition guide you to where you need to be, okay? Get more, inform get more information within a few weeks, okay? Things are going to be, you're going to be getting some type of help, 
Okay, we got helpful people. Okay, we got helpful people. Okay, I feel like a lot of things, I feel like there's getting ready to be a shift for you. Some of you guys may have been seeing the number 555 um, because there is about to be a big transformation here for you. I feel like you guys may need to rest up, take a break, meditate on some things, okay? Because I feel like um, whatever seeds you have sown are getting ready to come to fruition. You're going to have to put in the work, okay? So if you are contemplating and meditating, take that time out now because things are getting ready to come in. And you may become, get real, real busy, all right? I hope this message was helpful for you. And if this message resonated, guys, leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, holler at me through email. That information will be in the drop box below, okay? Until next time, I'll chat with y'all later.